And we're gonna have to we're gonna have to make a lot of bedrooms. But and we also might want to make bedrooms for specifically for guests. Like this right now is our tavern. I guess we could put the uh, guest bedrooms off to the side here. Uh, there we go. And we could kind of have a similar thing. And maybe I should macro this at this point. Um, if I can remember how to do that. Uh, whatever. Okay. Actually, does that make sense? Or do we want it just to go like down like this? And have the corridor on the other side of the temple. I mean, we can make little rooms here. One, two, that would only be three wide, but they could be longer. I don't know what we could do with those. Yeah, I think, oops. I think just having this is going to work out and we can get rid of this yeah mine all this down here whoops and this is where we're going to be putting bedrooms and maybe we can have um a door come out of the temple into the bedroom corridor? I don't know. But uh, this is a start. I'll, I'll wait for them to get that corridor done. And I think we need to ramp up our bed production. The thing is, we don't have... Um, we still don't have a lot of wood. But... Beds... We're only making five at a time. Um, that's. I think that's fine. But let's say, let's change these numbers. And say, let's all have 20 beds. So they'll just keep making them until we have 20. Yeah, good. Oh, we're making more iron bolts. It's great. Oh, this floor is done here. So now the question is, I guess we should put a wall in. And I think on this level, we are, at least for now, just going to put... A wall like this. Oh, wait. I, I didn't realize going to that there's a floor there. So uh, I guess first I'll have to remove that. Uh, remove. Remove just this so we can put a wall in the back here. And that'll be okay. And then we can start putting st stuff in this... Uh, in the beginning of uh, this temple. like statues I should maybe commission another some more statues maybe I should wait until we find like gold or something uh, well I don't know what would it be a, an appropriate material to make statues of our rainbow god because you can't oh look at this look at these bards singing uh, Relationships. A lot of relationships. Um, oh, you have a master. I think that means that's like you're maybe you're um, the leader of your bard group. Um, you're pl oh, you're playing instruments, simulating instruments and playing instruments and reciting poetry. Beautiful. Uh, view activity. Performance is at the exposition of the first theme. I want to find out if you're part of that group. The wondrous meadow is a ribald poetic form intended to teach a moral lesson concerning a specific place originating in the parched crafts. The rules of the form are applied by poets to produce individual poems which can be recited. The poem is a single line. The poem is 16 syllables. That's a short poem. Hopefully it makes a lovely song. I think we need more instruments. Uh, now that we have a kiln, 
We may be able to make some clay. The fire fest of YouTube. Oh yes, right here. <laughs> I think you know. I I think we're providing our dwarves more than the fire festival provided. Uh, I never saw. I didn't see that documentary. I just heard about it. All right, trip blocks. Nice. Okay, uh, we're starting to smooth this out. People still have these needs. Uh, and that's not great, because we look at all this engraving that we've done, and it's still not good enough. A pineapple plant. A single-cut gem. A codex. Blazing suns. These are all by Nil, not Dorkling. Uh, foggy banners. An exceptionally designed image of a grate, which is the symbol of the parched crafts. Well, we have grates. We certainly have grates. Uh... Bolts, a codex, uh, a pale chestnut demon. A demon is one of the symbols of the warm crypt? Our government? A pale chestnut demon is one of our symbols. Look at that. That is interesting. Two broad bean plants, spider silk head veil. That's... So, can I look at the warm crypt here um, and, like, find out stuff about it? Uh, holdings and tribute? No. I'll have to look at this. This is cute. Um, that's where we are. Uh, news and rumors. We don't have a lot of news and rumors. Missions, artifact, world, people. Yeah. Civilizations. Ah! Uh, there's the warm crypt. Can we, like, get info on it? Just who our folks are. Imports, offerings, no agreements. I want to find out, like, I guess legend stuff about it. Like, what the symbol is. But I guess we know a couple of sim. Well, the, um, greats are a symbol of our government. Or something. Greats are a symbol of something. And then our government symbol is a warm chestnut demon. Uh... Which is kind of nuts. All right. Uh, things have been quiet. I think shutting off that area of the cavern did help. Uh, do we have more beds to put down? Yeah. And we need to make... Whoops. We need to make sure that this is all part of our dormitory as well. Oh, we're making them out of spore trees now. Um, let me just make sure that this is all actually... And I can't remember. There it is. Yeah, we definitely need to resize the room. There we go. Great. It is a dormitory. Okay. That'll help. That'll help. Uh, okay, so we have a wall in the back here. We have a level of the temple done. It has an open uh, ceiling. And we should decide the, um, the top of it, which will be right here. Like, this level will have like a roof on it, what we want that roof to be made out of. This is the red level. I don't know if we want a red roof also because the top level is red. Or if the roof should, I don't know, be a rainbow in itself? I think the fortress could all, or the temple could also maybe like start more narrow and then get broader as it goes down in levels. So red and orange would be just this high. And then, like, this level down, we could uh, expand it into, like, this area, like, up and down, and continue to do that as we go as we go down. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, we're making beds, nest boxes, iron chains, masterpiece iron chains, um, granite earrings. Fantastic. Let's... Um, So we have nest boxes. Oh, we do have a bunch of wood left, which is nice to see, but I think we do still need more. Let's put let's put down some more nest boxes. What's... Why is my B key not working? Did I put caps? I put caps lock on. Uh, <laughs> I gotta. I was like, what's wrong with my keyboard? That's not good. Cool. That'll be nice. 
I imagine we're going to get a lot of ducks soon. Uh, so I was worried about our alcohol stores, right? This is 26 drinks. Yes, yeah, not great. Uh, what is our brewing jobs here? Five out of five until what? Oh, that explains it. How about a hundred drinks? Uh, conditions. In fact, maybe even more than that, because we can sell stuff like that. Yeah, you know what? 500. Did not realize we were stopping creating drinks that early. Uh, and then we have these down here. Oh, after those were done, then we do this for 50. Oh, but we don't have empty storage items of 50. I don't think... I don't think we need these jobs. Oops. Uh, when we have these. I don't know what I was thinking there. Uh, okay. Uh, we definitely have a lot of food here. A lot of fish and meat pots. Mostly fish pots and wine pots. It's all good. It's beautiful. We struck white jade. You know what? Now that the waterfall is kind of being blocked. Well, the waterfall is not being blocked. No, the waterfall is still able to flow through. Uh, I was wondering if it would affect the brook down here, but I think it's all fine. Why is this purple over here? Oh, bayberries fell in. Okay. Um, any unicorns yet? Giant flies. Naked mole dogs. A lot of crundles. No unicorns. So sad. What is this? Well, a giant wombat died here. Well, I guess we didn't bring it back to eat, even though we apparently hunted it. Okay. Need unrotten processable plants for the drink job. Maybe I did that so we would not get spam. I don't know. Take it by mood. Has been possessed. Uh, I think. Uh, let's see. Uh, Oostooth. A miner. Uh, okay, Oostooth. Uh, where are you? Uh, you are one of our original dwarves, apparently. I think. Maybe not. Um, I don't know how this gets ordered. Uh, go to unit, follow. All right, where are you going? You took over a mason's workshop. All right, so it's going to be something out of stone. And you're immediately going to get stuff. A mason's workshop, we should have all the ingredients for whatever he wants. I mean, I guess there's a chance not, but we'll see. Hmm. Uh, okay, you are back. And you began. Great. So that'll be fun. More beds. We have more beds. Our beds are... are we're getting different colors of beds here. Spore trees and whatnot. And I think we need to cut down more trees. Which I mentioned before, but I forgot. Uh, there we go. Do we have... Yeah, we could cut down some of these. We chop down mushrooms. Yeah, chop down all these. Um, yeah, and we could chop these down as well over here. Yep, nice. We're making pig iron bars. Does that mean we have steel now? We should be making steel. Uh, let's take a look at our stocks. Uh, bars? No, not yet. We have five pig iron bars. Okay. Um, let's make sure that at our, at our smeltery that we're keeping bars down here. 
let's make one of these stockpiles for bars. And specifically, pig iron. So, um, or anything that we might want to continue smelting. Uh, yeah, let's uh, block all of it, except, except this guy. Permit metal. And... Uh, Lock all? Oh, right. We're just going to add pig iron. Anything else? I mean, we could put iron here so that we can smelt it into... Actually, uh, if we have tin, we'll put it here so that we can smelt it into bronze later. Maybe lead bars as well. Uh, yeah. We can make it to pewter. Maybe? Okay, and that'll be good. Um, and then let's make a stockpile here. Oh, not, not a zone. Uh, this is going to be bars. This whole thing. Big stockpile. That's going to be... Uh, Plug everything. Just metal bars. Um... Uh, yeah, fine, whatever. All metal bars. Maybe not pig iron. That's fine. Just fine. All right. And we're, we brought uh, pig iron bars over there, it looks like, or something. Good. All right. A lot of crundle corpses in there. Ooh, I think our refuse stockpile... Can we like put put all this stuff in bins? Is that a is that a thing we can do? We have no barrels in here or bins. I'm fine with having barrels and bins in here. I don't I don't know if that's a way to like store like put in put body parts in things, but um, I'd rather not just have a giant floor of body parts. If we can like throw them in what are basically trash bins, I don't know I don't know if it actually works that way, but we'll we'll find out. All right, we're making a lot more beds, which is great. Still have these room requirements. All right, I'm not, the mayor's room, I think they're still working on, but I do not know. Uh, there's still a little bit of engraving to be done right here. Not a lot. Maybe I'll increase the priority of that engraving. But other than that, man, this should be a really nice room. Am I missing something here? This is... Day Dukes, uh, Table and Throne. It should be your office and dining room, yeah. Huh. Guess you just need nicer stuff. You have a cabinet and a chest. Well, we'll see. Oh, uh, Ballad, uh, Ballad Tench? Ten, oh, ten shed, ballad ten shed, Arin, Arinrin, Arinrin mall, <laughs> a lignite bed, a bed made out of coal, basically. He claims it as an heirloom in the name of the family ancestor Asab Rackfangs, an artifact bed. Well, I think for now that has to go in the mayor's room. I think, uh. If I can remember where I put that. Right, right here. So this is a nice bed, right? If I remember. Take a look. Uh, here. Oh yeah, it's a lovely feather wood bed. But it's not an artifact bed. I mean, I could we could save the bed until we get like a baron or something. Yeah. Let's... Let's make a fancy bedroom. Like a really fancy bedroom. 
Um, oh, uh, no, this can be regular. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think it would go like that which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, this is gonna be nice. Um, maybe, I don't know. I always make the bedroom, like the fancy bedrooms just square and maybe I shouldn't be doing that. You know what, let's just like round it off just a little bit. Whoops. And then, and then the bedroom, which maybe we can make the bedroom. Like this. And then I'll also have it come around. Uh, like so. So the bedroom is going to be pretty huge. Huh. Do I like that? Sure. This is a little weird though, right? Maybe they could, I don't know. And then where are the doors? Do we have just one door here and one door over there? Maybe. Yeah, so this is really fancy. We could put the bed like here, like in this room. I think I feel okay about this. I was thinking like one room could be like the bathroom sort of thing. And you can come in here too. Um, and you can come in the bedroom this way. How about that? We'll get some fancy doors. All right, so that's going to be, like, the nicest bedroom slash office or whatever suite in the, in the fortress. I think. 